Welcome back to Scale Auto Guys Workbench. Today we're going to be working on the Round 2 MPC Coca-Cola 32 Ford Sedan Delivery. This looks like it's going to be a real sharp kit and so let's take a look at it. Just on the box itself you're looking at uh, a couple of different uh, assembly um, features here. Um, traction bars, 283 cubic inch uh, small block, uh, dual quad carburetors, customized interior. Here's your uh, decal sheet. You have plenty of choices of decals that you can put on the finished model. Take a look at the bottom here. Whoop, get it the right way up. And uh, shows all your parts trees. And uh, let's get uh, the box opened up and let's take a look at what's inside. Alright, let's get a look at this uh, direction sheet. Um, it looks pretty straightforward. There's not too many steps in here involved in the construction of this particular kit. Um, looks pretty simple, straightforward, and uh, eh, it looks like it would be a pretty easy build. Let's set that aside. Let's take a look at uh, your clear parts. You just have a small tree here with just your uh, front windshield headlights, your side glass and your rear glass. Looks pretty clear, pretty nice. Now this kit does come molded in white plastic and black. Loose part there. Don't know where that goes to, but it's part of that. You got your seat backs and uh, all your engine parts on this one. Um, looks like it'd be pretty easy to detail that. We'll set that aside. I'm not sure what that is going to be. It looks like it might be a, an exhaust pipe of some sort, maybe a radiator hose. Who knows? Uh, here's your. Uh, radiator support, uh, firewall, and your hood, two different style hoods. Um, this is for uh, your dual quad setups where it'll be poking up through the hood or you can go with a stock hood. Here's your seats. Now on that other black one there, uh, black tree, they had uh, the seat backs. Um, these look pretty nice. Oh, they have molded in seat belts as well, so that'll be nice to detail. Um, here's your frame. It's pretty small, but it looks like it might be uh, something that'll build up pretty nice. Here's your fender assembly. Uh, this does look like it has a little bit of warp to it. Um, yours may or may not. Um, I've heard other folks say that theirs has pretty, been pretty bad. These don't look real horrible, but it looks like it's something that can be uh, adjusted. Um, you just have to warm the plastic with uh, like hot water or maybe a hair dryer um, or a heat gun. Heat guns get pretty hot though, um, so you have to be careful doing that. that you don't uh, melt the plastic, but you just want to warm it enough that you can bend it back into shape and um, correct any warp issues with it. Moving on to the next tree. Well, actually, there's two of them here. You have two different chrome trees. Um, they're stuck together. Um, oh, looks like, well, this is the part of your dual carburetor setup. Uh, chrome oil pan, um, a blower intake uh, with the belt assembly here. That's all on this is your uh, dual quad uh, intake manifold. On the second tree, suspension parts, wheels. Um, oh, I like those. Um, and uh, what you would, you know, all the chrome parts that you would normally expect. Uh, on a car like this. So we'll set that aside. And last but not least, your uh, 
body and the interior tub stuck together. Come out of there. There we go. And has a nice little uh, diamond tuck um, kind of uh, interior uh, molded in. That looks pretty nice. Carpeting is molded in. So that'll be nice when it gets when it gets finished and get it detailed up. Okay. Um, oh, one more thing. Your tires. Now you got some wide ones for the back, and they're stamped with the Goodyear uh, logo on them, and with matching front tires. Of course, you see that the difference, uh, your rears and your fronts, and uh, those will look nice when you get it all put together. All right. Oh, and uh, I didn't want to take it out of the plastic bag, but they give you one metal axle, and that's probably for your rear tires. Okay, let's get started on uh, putting this thing together, and uh, I'll be right back with the uh, sub-assemblies. I wanted to mention, uh, before we get on to the sub-assemblies, here's your decal sheet. Looks just like the picture on the side of the box. Um, you have plenty of different uh, Coca-Cola um, labeling that you can use, um, and different signage. Uh, and this will go together pretty well with my Coca-Cola vending machine from the Popper Pinto that I um, did in a previous video. Um, so those will go together pretty well. Um, okay. Oh, you got plenty of license plates here, different license plates. So uh, yeah, awesome. Let's uh, get on to the sub-assemblies and uh, we'll be right back with that.
Well, here we are back at the final on the 1932 Ford sedan delivery that's Coca-Cola sponsored from MPC. Uh, this kit went together nicely, but it did have its issues. Um, there was a lot of uh, warpage in the fender assembly. You may be able to see that. It was very difficult to get all that warp out. Um, and I did the best I could. Um, I really did like the way it looks when it's finished, although I'm not really satisfied with the warp and um, I did the best I could to get that out. Um, anyway, yeah, this one here fought me quite a bit, um, mainly the white paint. Um, I didn't want to leave it, you know, white plastic and just shoot clear coat over it. So I actually did paint the white um, the red fenders turned out really nice with the um, color shift metallic in mixed in with it and uh, so it, it really does look kind of sharp I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please consider giving me a thumbs up it tells the YouTube algorithms that I'm doing a good job if you haven't already subscribed please do so. There's a lot more videos coming. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching Scale Auto Guys Workbench. See you in the next one.